Yeah. <laughs> hey guys, it's Hart and this is the third video I am recording in a day, but this one will be uploaded second. So anyways, today I'm going to be talking about how to sell American Girl stuff. Whether you grew out of dolls or if you're just trying to downsize your collection or your clothing, I'm here to help you. So let's get started. The first thing is find what platform you want to sell it on, eBay, Mercari, Instagram, or any other website that you find. I personally like to sell through Instagram because I have the biggest following on there, but Mercari and eBay are also super great options because a lot of people go there to look for doll stuff. If you don't know what Mercari is, it's just an app that you can sell your stuff on. This is not sponsored, I wish it was, but yeah, you can download it on the App Store and it's pretty easy and straightforward and I'm sure you know what eBay and Instagram are, so. Next is figure out how you're going to accept payment. This is super important. Can you accept Venmo, PayPal, Cash App, or Cash? Um, I don't recommend Cash unless you're doing it locally because it's really hard. Like, you don't want to really mail Cash. But, I mean, you could if you wanted to. My personal favorites are Venmo and PayPal because they're easy and um, PayPal is super secure. Venmo is just super easy and you can transfer it like right into your bank and it's really good. So a lot of people have Venmo too and a lot of people have PayPal. So that works really well. So just kind of figure out what you're planning on doing. Next is take good quality pictures of what you're selling. I can't stress this enough. If people see that you're taking a photo of the shirt you're selling on like a crusty carpet, they're not going to buy it because that's gross and they're going to be like, oh, what household is this coming from? So take good quality pictures, take your time taking them, make it look good because people judge first thing. First thing they see is the picture and they're going to be like, they could easily scroll past your listing if they're like, oh, that's gross. That's really important. Next is if there are any questions, respond to them quickly. People love a quick response. People hate waiting. I hate waiting. I'm impatient. So um, respond to questions. If they have them, if they DM you, if they email you, just be checking constantly to make sure that you get back to them super quickly because that will likely motivate them to buy whatever you're selling more. Next is try to find the cheapest and quickest shipping option because high shipping prices and long shipping times will drive your customers away. My personal thing is I go to the post office to ship because it's, I found it's cheaper, but I recently found a website called Pirate Ship and it is amazing it it's like a discount shipping and if you're selling like a doll shirt you can honestly mail it in like a tiny little poly mailer or an envelope type thing and it'd probably be like two bucks for priority mail which is awesome so you do want to make sure that you have the accurate scale for it um, I have a scale that I weigh my things on before I ship them to make sure they don't get returned to me and then it takes longer. But shipping is super important because if a customer sees it's like $10 shipping for like a $5 shirt, they're going to be like, that is so not worth it. If the shipping costs more than the actual product, ultimate turn away. Lastly is keep all of the current items that you're not selling in good condition because you might sell them later on. I'm talking your dolls pretty much like if you have a Sonali and you're like oh I will never sell Sonali but when you're older you might and if she's in really good condition you could get a good amount of money for that so that is super important to keep them in good condition and I'm trying to keep all my dolls in good condition as well because I know that I will be selling some of them in the future it's just not realistic for me to like move into a house with kids and a husband and have like 30 dolls like that's just not gonna happen um, as much as I don't really want to imagine it right now, but that is super important. So I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, make sure to comment them below. I read all the comments, so I will answer them if you have them, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.